this stupid YouTube is not going to let me upload videos, I suspect. Um, well, simple. I'm going to get a bumper sticker that says stoppers perpetuate jam traffic jams. And it's the truth. A lot of, um, it'd be the basic message you could give to people to prevent traffic jams from recurring. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So the, the thing is, is keep 100 feet between you and the guy in front of you. Um, it only takes 10% or even 5% of the traffic to do this. It doesn't have to be everybody. It just has to be a few people, you know. And uh, if everybody did it, um, there would probably be less traffic. I mean, there would be less traffic. Um, it wouldn't be efficient for the road to have everybody doing it. Even for having people being one car with between them and the guy in front of them, which is what is being put on other traffic jam videos. You just have to keep 100 feet. And it just has to be one person to do it or a couple of people to do it. Um, if you keep space between you and the guy in front of you and you just try to avoid stopping, you just slow down, but you don't completely stop, it will alleviate the jam eventually. Um, but it will perpetuate um, if people just keep stopping in front of each other. And I just hate the experience of stopping constantly, you know, going and stopping, stopping, going, stopping, going. That kind of experience to me just isn't very attractive. That's the reason why I always just slow down. I just try to predict what the speed of the traffic's going to be as a result of there going to be a stop somewhere down the road. I, this happens to me every morning whenever I go to work um, around 8 o'clock. There will always be um, a part of the road where everybody stops, and so I just try to prevent that from happening by trying to keep space between me and the guy in front of me so that when I get to that stopping point, um, I'm going to have enough s space to ke keep my speed and not ever have to stop for those people. They'll eventually speed up, I would hope, and then it would alleviate the jam, but it always seems, tends to be the case that that stop will just continue to exist. And the reason why is because people are stressed. They have to get to work in time. The time when I do it is not a, the best of times to do it. And that's when I'm just about, I should just be at work, um, like within a few minutes. That's when the traffic jams get to be bad. Um, and that's because everybody's stressed and stressed people make really bad decisions. Sapolsky, there's a guy on YouTube, if you do the search for Sapolsky, S-A-P-O-L-S-K-Y, and he's got a video called um, Stress the Brain Killer, and or Stress the Killer. Look it up, it's on Nova, and he talks about stress, and what it does to people is it basically causes them from, from think making judgment, and if you keep space between you and the car in front of you, you will see these people go in front of you and they will get nowhere fast. They will think that they're getting, they were gonna get to their location faster. It's also kind of a, a, kind of an autopilot mode. They just do it automatically. And they don't step out of themselves and think, is there a better way to do this? They don't do that. They, they're, so distracted by everything in their life that um, they never try to do anything optimally and every day is the same and they may ponder what what is it worth to live at all you know they might even get depressed and it's because they're not trying to live life differently every time they're not trying to do something different every day and learning will cause you to learn to learn of something different, learn a different way when you're changing, when you're trying to make change in your life, it makes things more interesting. But if you're not trying to change anything, then 
it will be the same day every day and um, there's artists who have committed suicide over such issues and you know just observing that every day doesn't er, the days don't seem to change and the way I put it for causing change in society um, the the thing I believe works the, the good saying that you could say to other people is uh, if you can't change the three feet around you good luck changing the world <laughs>